let's say you have employees, full-time employees. What do you do with them when your demand falls? That is the challenge of operations. Well, what do you do with them when the demand rises? You can say, well, pay them over time hours or bring temporary staff in. But then the key question is, demand doesn't just go up, it, it can also come down. So the ability of a system to respond effectively, cost competitively, that's what gives you flexibility. And of course, innovation. The ability to bring new services out speedily, new products out speedily, better than the competitors give you the innovative cap capabilities. Now, why do we focus on these operations objectives? Because they relate to exactly what the customers require. They relate to what the customers require. Now, what the customers require, we can divide, it, divide them into two key factors. The first one is known as order qualifying criteria. And the second one is known as order winning criteria. What do we mean by other qualifying criteria? Now, these are factors, competitive factors, that if you don't have them in your operations, you lose business. But if you have them and you try to do more of them, it doesn't win you any extra business. Let me give you an example. Think of the remote control of a television. If you go and buy a TV tomorrow and it doesn't have a remote control, what will happen? You'll be disappointed because a remote control is another qualifying criteria. But imagine a, a Sanyo or Sony giving you the best remote control. They advertise and say, come and buy my TV because I've got the best remote. Will that get them more customers? Of course not. Because remote control is expected. It doesn't matter whether it's a beautiful one or it's an ugly one, it does exactly the same thing. But 20 years, 30 years ago, remote control wasn't like that. Remote control was what we call order winning criteria. Because then, if your TV had a remote control, it was a competitive advantage, but no longer. Are you following? Okay. So, you ask yourselves, how can these operations objectives link to other qualifying criteria? Now, other winners. These are things that if you offer customers, you delight the customers. In fact, sometimes customers don't expect them. They're new. The more of this you order, I mean, you offer, the better for the customers. So when we look at our operations objective, cost for airlines could be another winner. If an airline comes to this country now and says, well, Lagos, London, return $200. A lot of people will go for that airline. That cost or price that you pay will become a competitive winning factor, right? However, speed or let's say dependability. Dependability. If an airline, well, we need to be careful here. In Nigeria, if somebody can offer a dependable service, we think is another winner. But actually, it shouldn't be. It should be another qualifying criteria because we expect you to order uh, to, to offer a dependable service. So again, it depends on the context, right? So you take Aero, you take Eric, for example. If they can offer a dependable service, they may flag that off as their competitive criteria. But in the United States, it's not. You're not going to get more customers if you advertise, oh, hang on. If we say we're going to leave at 2 o'clock, we're going to leave at 2 o'clock. That won't give you more customers. What is going to give you more customers in the United States will be that. And it's the quality of the service that you can provide. And maybe sometimes the flexibility. Or even the innovation. So we need to look at each one of these operations objectives and how they can deliver what customers have taken for granted and what customers will see as something that is a delighter. Okay, so what's the connection of this with our operations? When we now look into our operations, 
The reason we call these operations objectives is this. If you're an operations manager within an organization, this would be like your KPIs. How can I deliver cost in my production process? How can I deliver speed? How can I deliver, how can I make sure my system is dependable? How can I make sure I have quality services and I deliver quality products? How can I deliver flexibility? How can I deliver innovation? So when we think about operations and supply chain management model, the essence of the model is what are those things that we can put in place that will help us to deliver each one of these.